This is a Security Weekly production. Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in penetration testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. This episode of Hack Naked TV is brought to you by IT Pro TV. With IT Pro TV, you gain access to the most important tools needed to prepare you for IT certification. IT Pro TV has a thousand hours of up to date, high quality video content. Course topics include CCNP, CompTIA, Advanced Security Practitioner, Ethical Hacking, Cryptography, and more. You can stream their courses live and on demand to your Chromecast, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, PC, or mobile device. They have one low monthly subscription price and you can cancel at any time. Check out itpro.tv forward slash hacknaked to upgrade your brain with the most popular IT certifications. Use the code hacknaked30 for a free seven-day trial and save 30% off the life of your account. Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV, recorded April 14th, 2016. I'm your host, Aaron Lyons, and today I'm going to be following up on Bad Luck, talking about the sense- sentencing of a couple of hackers and how to decrypt a hard drive that's been infected by the Petya ransomware. Oh, Bad Luck. What a huge disappointment. Uh, the details for Bad Luck were released this past Tuesday. Tuesday after weeks of hype, and it was a letdown. I was hoping for some sexy remote code execution, something to replace MS-0867, and we got a man in the middle attack and denial of service. My recommendation is to patch on your normal cycle. Make sure you do patch this on both Windows and Linux, um, and not run uh, Samba over networks that you don't trust. And, uh, you know, if you are connecting to Samba from a coffee shop, I'd say you have other issues that you need to address um, before you worry about patching this. Full details of the vulnerability are on the Badlock website. You can find the link in our show notes. So you may remember the Black Hole Exploit Kit. It was a very, very popular exploit kit for several years, starting all the way back in 2010. And it was responsible for the loss of tens of millions of dollars from small and medium businesses. Well, the author of this infamous exploit kit was just sentenced to seven years in a Moscow court, seven years in a Russian penal colony. Yeah, that's right. Seven years in a Russian penal colony for authoring an exploit kit. Much rather be sentenced in the US. And speaking of being sentenced in the US, We have a former U.S. Department of Energy and Nuclear Regulatory Commission employee that was just sentenced to 18 months for trying to hack into government computers to steal nuclear secrets. That's 18 months for trying to steal nuclear secrets versus seven years in a Russian penal colony for authoring an exploit kit. So the man came to the FBI's attention when he started offering to sell the email addresses of DOE employees. An undercover agent from the FBI met with him, and the guy offered to design a spear phishing campaign that would deliver malware to DOE and NRC employees that would then, you know, give access to their computers and be able to steal nuclear secrets. He sent the email to roughly, roughly 80 employees at DOE and NRC. And the link that he used was provided to, link to the malware that he used was provided to him by the FBI. And it was harmless, so nothing actually happened out of it. Uh, he was detained back in 2015 in the Philippines, was deported back to US, and was just recently sentenced. So, yeah, uh, you know, we complain a lot about the sen- sen- sentencing of uh, hackers in the US, but I'll tell you what, 18 months compared to seven years in a penal colony? is a huge difference. So to continue talking about the ongoing saga of ransomware, about two weeks ago, we talked about the Petya ransomware, which overwrites the MBR record on your hard drive. Uh, 
Luckily, a security researcher by the name of Lawrence Abrams has discovered how you can decrypt your files so you don't have to pay. So there are a couple of things you need to do here. You need to extract two segments of data from the affected hard drive. You need to base64 encode them and then enter them into a web app that Lawrence has provided. Links to the web app and all the details that you need on what data you need to extract, how much of it, and what to do are all in our show notes. Links to the web app, links to uh, the GitHub repository for the web app if you want to run it yourself and look how it, see how it works and all the details on how to, how to do this are there. So if you get infected by Petya, you don't have to pay. That's it for this episode of Hack Naked TV. Thanks for listening. Send us your feedback at the show at hacknaked.tv. We'd love to hear from you. Talk to you next time.